Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are here to do some laminating. I wanted to show you a little trick I learned because I watched Shannon, and she said the one thing you have to be careful of when you're doing small pieces is that when you move this from here to the laminator, these things can scooch around and get out of, out of sync with each other. So you have to kind of straighten them out as you go. Um, so I'm using this solution. It worked for me yesterday. I don't know if it will work for me today. But what I'm going to do, this is an old Creative Memories uh, board um, that you can cut on. It's a 10 and a half by 12 and a half. And I'm putting my laminator sheet or pocket, whatever they pouch they call them. And I'm just leaving about a half of an inch right up here at the end where it's hanging over the edge. So that I can take this right up to the machine and um, get it started. Okay? So, some of the things that I did today was I cut pens. This side's not so good. But I just cut some pens out of, um, I'm going to start over here so I can see where, I, where I'm beginning. Because <laughs> it's real hard to see this plastic on the, on this uh, whiteboard down here. So I'm just starting that right at the top of the board and coming down. Okay. There's that one. Then I have this one. And these are just out of the old um, reproduction catalog. And leaving space so when I cut them apart it'll be easier. And so that um, I don't know. I, I had a thought. <laughs> I did. I had a thought, an actual thought in my brain, leaving space between them so that I can cut them apart and then I can cut close to each one, um, but leaving enough space so as not to cut into the the seal where it seals them all up. So um, I did bring some circles along to show you. Um, I don't my my. Um, These two dads, you can hear it. I cut one of those laminators with it yesterday and now it's got stuff stuck all over in it. Anyway, it didn't work very well. So here's the pins I did. And what would I do with these? Well, I'm thinking about hanging them on things off the spine of the... Um, off the journals. Then I took some music sheet. Now the way I did this was I I cut right between the music sheets and then I folded it in half like so. Lined it up as best as I could. You can always trim it. Okay. Folded it in half. I clipped off the ends. And then I completely glued this together and let it dry. I clipped it in half and then I punched holes in both halves. You see, here's a half and there's a half on a shorter one. And that way it showed music. Um, on both sides of the little um, charm or dangle. So that's how I got my little um, music dangles. Um, this was just one plain sheet. Um, I, a very thin one. I just went ahead and went around it with ink and, and there it is. So I have these.
And then these are made from two pieces of paper. You can see I got this on one side and this on the other. I glued the two papers together because they were white on the back. And then I cut them at a half an inch. First I straightened up the edges to make sure that there was no white showing. I cut them each at a half of an inch all the way through and then I cut them at different lengths and then hole punched them and got them ready to go in here. Um, I was trying to think of some quick ways to do, you know, dangles and stuff that could go on journals and this I think would work super well. You could use any pictures you know, um, you could use stars or or anything like that, really. I'm going to put this one here. Looks like I have a little bit of room right here. I don't want to mess it up, do I? Because if they get crisscrossed, oh boy, that's it. There's that one. And then, of course, you can put in your circles if you'd like. And so, um, the, so anyway, I didn't like doing the circles because, uh, well, I love doing the circles, but I didn't like doing them just because it, um, they're important impossible to cut out to be honest with you so let's see Gotta leave enough space but the only reason I'm showing you is so I can show you how I got them into the machine and it is ready when we are um, just a tiny space here. Here's a tiny one. Let's put that one in. And then here's a sun we could put in. Oh, not going to fit. I'm going to go right off the edge there. Okay, well, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm at the end of my paper. Okay, so the hard part for me was to get this to fold down over it. Um, I had kind of bad luck at that part. Here, I have a word Paris. I think it will fit. Yep. Let me see if I have another little one. Something not too wide. Maybe, oh, here's another Paris. Oh, here's family. I have family. Did you know I have a family? Oh, that one's too fat. Nope, too too much. Okay, well, we've got a, a space there. Okay, so the way I did this was I just went very, very slowly. Because you can see it starts sticking to it. Okay, there we go. Now this one moved a little bit up, so let's move it back in because it might not seal very good right there. Okay, let me scooch this stuff out of the way and scooch this over. And I'm going to take you out here a little bit. Oh, that's in. I'm going to take you out. Okay, so this is a Scotch laminator. and um, Thanks, Robin and, and uh, Shannon, for talking me into it. I've been playing with it for days. <laughs> okay, shall we see if it works? Okay, just that little half inch there. I'm going to scooch it up to the uh, machine. Oh, I'm going to have to pull it 
a little bit further out. I'm going to get it between the little lines so it's not going in crooked. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I hope it didn't go in crooked. So I just am holding this here, even with the laminator, and letting it go through. Um, oh, I'm off just a little bit over here. So I hope it seals. Oh, no. What if it goes haywire? I guess then we'll release it and take it out and... We can run it back through. Oh, that one's not going to do it. It surprises me that it comes out so beautifully clear. Okay, it looks like it sealed it where I was afraid it wouldn't. So there we go. We have a whole thing of bangles now. Just little music ones. And the pens, like I said, I didn't put anything on the back of them, so they're not so pretty on the back. But I have another one out here, so let's try one more. This is the hard part for me, figuring out which, how to get it open. I'm going to scoot this back because it's hot and I don't want to cook my sheet. There we go. Let me set that over there. Um, some of the other things I tried were um, book pages and I had some that were from an old genealogy book that I bought from the genealogy library. And oh, where did they go? Woohoo! Oh, here they are. They just have really old dates on them. So I made little tiny tags that just have dates on them. I thought that would be kind of fun. I'm going to put that one right up here. Here's a music one. And here's one of these, and one of these, whoops, and let's see, another one of those. Here's just a little um, ad. But I thought, you know, these might be really cute as a dangle on a journal. Um, I won't have time to make one today, but I, I will come back. Um, not today, but um, I will come back with a video for that. I think that would be a lot of fun. Because um, there's so many fun things you could do. And then here is the word hope out of the dictionary. And if it says something okay on the back, you can just leave it as is. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it right about there. I'm going to add some more of these. I'm going to add some more music. And something circular. Circular. Might as well use these circles. I do have them. 
although they are very fun. Um, I hole punch them with um, the um, with this one using the um, the inch the the little one um, the one eighth inch hole. And then I have another hole punch that has a small hole in it. And I know it's not the one I want, but it's the one I could find. Um, but it has a little hole. Just it, I think it's supposed to be an eighth, but it seems to be just slightly smaller than, um, than this hole. But it probably is an eighth. If I think about it, you know. Here's another one of those tags. Let's take this one out. And this one. Put this tag in right here. And then here's the word Paris. Let's put it in right. here and then here's this one and let's see I guess that's about what's gonna fit in there probably I could get a lot more on there um, depending on how brave I am <laughs> you know at getting them closer together okay, so I'm going to carefully Oops, I uncareful it. Um, I carefully roll this over it. Okay, going to pull this back up. Here we go. And let's see if I can do this right this time. Okay. Whoops. Don't do that. Don't do that at home. <laughs> oh, that almost upset the whole apple cart. Oh, I think I might have doubled that one up. It's got one under it. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what will happen there, but we'll see. There. So then, of course, I just cut them out like these. And I came up with all of... Now, these are all stamped here. But isn't that cool? Don't you think it would be cool having some of these all dangling off of your the back of your journal? I just think that would be so pretty. Um, not off this journal. This is a dictionary. But you know, you could hang a bunch of them with some little um, threads and stuff. and Or maybe chain and put them at different heights. And then you can read either side. It just makes makes it kind of interesting like that, I think. Okay, here's the other one. Ooh, it's a little warm. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. But don't they look cool? So anyway, we're going to have to come back together. I am working on dinner right now. And we'll make a tassel with these. We'll see what we can do. I don't know. I've never made a tassel with ephemera before. Ooh, those two are too close together. That didn't seal right there. So those two may not work. But 
Yeah, I just think they're so cool. And there's our word hope. But you know, this with hope, you could um, cut out the dictionary definition. Just be careful with old dictionaries because their definition was a little more um, like I, what was the word of it? Nature. Well, they um, said that it was like um, nudity. <laughs> it was in the in the thing that it was like nudity was being out in nature, and which of course I guess it would be. But um, I was looking for, you know, the essence of walking in the woods type of nature. So, anyway, there it is. I'm very pleased with them, and I will cut these out um, to see how they do. I love these two. I think those are so pretty. Yeah, I love those. Now it does say if it comes back a little cloudy, you can run it back through. And this one is a little bit cloudy. So I may run that one back through. I'm not. Yeah, I might look because there's whole little air pockets everywhere. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Let's just run it back through. If it catches fire, ooh, we'll be excited, won't we? But I love this machine. Robin and Shannon said, "Oh, you're gonna love it." Well, they didn't say that. They said, yes, get one. And I've been thinking about it for quite a long time. So um, I can see those two are too close together. Um, but yeah, I'm just very excited to have it. Oh yeah, that's more clear this time. Yes, that worked out good. But, oh yeah, I'm very excited to have it and try new things with it and um, just make different things with it. So there we are. And I was a little concerned about the glue in between, but it seems like it didn't cause any problems at all. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. We will get back together and we will make some dangles with these and see what they look like. I mean, they might look like crazy and we won't like them. But I love the little charm guys, even though I had to cut them out and they were a little crooked. So, okay, well, if you laminate, let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun content. And um, I'll be back with a dangle in dangle that we're going to make. And I will also be back with my Mixed Media Minnesota buy. And I don't know, it may be the next journal that I'm going to start. We'll see. I haven't gotten... I haven't gotten the inspiration for the next journal yet. Wow, that's really weird. I've just been having so much fun doing lots of little things. And um, one video I need to do is the organization of all my ephemera. You wouldn't believe how much I have now. I could make 40 books. Well, probably not, but I would like to. Okay, I'm going to let you go. And I will see you um tomorrow thanks for joining me hope you all have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow bye